Once upon a time, in a little primary school, some children set out on an extraordinary journey. Millions of children go on this journey, but then they become grown-ups and they forget it ever happened. Since we were born, we've looked at these strange squiggles. They're everywhere, but we can't understand them. This is the story of how we learn to break the code. It's a mad, bad tale, epic in scale. Words become swords, like driving a plane through the brain. But find friends, not fiends, and we'll be reading. Uh, I mean reading. We'll discover for ourselves the magical, mysterious, wonderful universe of books. Start getting up very slowly, as if you're a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. You can spread your wings very slowly. This is my class. And this is me. And today is the start of the new school year. When some of the children come to Kingsmead, they don't know the alphabet. They don't know how to hold a book. They don't know which way the pages turn. They don't know how to follow the text in the book. It's all new to them. It's a huge journey, a massive journey. You can meet the whole world in my school. There are 244 children. 47 different languages, 15 chickens, and two rabbits. Me hit the jungle de bai wa de lang ha mi chela. Les gens qui jouent tout le temps jeux vidéo, ils vont jamais apprendre des mots très durs à écrire. I practice reading a thousand times in 29 minutes. You have to look after books because they're precious and you can't throw them in the bin. Our story begins with these strange sounds, which we say for hours every day. It's called phonics. Phonics. It's a language that only children can understand. Fantastic! Well done! Give yourself a marshmallow clap. Just a little small marshmallow. Just a little small. Expectations are very, very high in reception and they are only four years old. When I think about when I was in reception, I thought the only thing I did was learn how to make my name out of Play-Doh. And then they come here and we expect them to be reading independently by the time they leave. And ah, uh, and ah, uh, and um, mm, da, and mm, ah, ba, and ba. There's no ba there. Da, mm, ah, uh, ah. See ya See, I don't know. Does it say that? Sienna wants to be a teacher, or she has also told me she wants to be a butterfly. 
She is very, very sweet, very caring, very loving, but lacks confidence with her reading, so she needs a lot of praise just to keep on going. Sienna lives next door on the Kingsmead estate. Have you got some books, Sienna? Um, I don't read with the books. I don't like having books. I don't like books. Ugh. What's wrong with books? Sienna? What's wrong with the books? I just don't like reading. Look at this! She's just crazy, lovable, fun, a bit bossy. <laughs> lovable, did I say that already? <laughs> sometimes she's like a little granny, and then sometimes she's like a teenager, and then sometimes she's a four-year-old. Well, why don't we read this one? We like this one. No. Please? No, I don't like that. Where's my favourite book? <gasps> I found it. But, Mummy, I'm not going to read all of it. I just want to say the animal was... Um, tiger. Monkey. Rhinosaurus. Cow. 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 What are these? Read it. What does it say? Little froggies. T. Read the letters out and you'll find the answer. Mm, you read it. Oh, I want you to learn. <laughs> T -a -d Tad. Tadpoles. Tadpoles. Is it difficult to get her to read? So when she's being fussy, it's kind be of annoying. Be quiet. It's not, it, it should okay. be her choice what she wants to read. Okay, okay sorry, go on then. Shush. Now, lion, mm -hmm. baboon with a red bum, wildebeest, giraffe, impala. <laughs> William is also in reception. He lives with his mum and his brother. He's only two. Bye, mummy. Sienna and William came to the nursery together, so they have already been in the same school for a year. Apparently, William and Sienna are boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not too sure. Probably that they just enjoy spending time with one another. I think. I don't think they even know. <laughs> it's not happy and you know it then squash. Don't squash me. Oh. If you have me, then kiss me. No. Do you want to check what they got? William, I don't like potatoes either. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I think you hit Mrs. Butterfly. 
Sons. Bye, Head. Don't move, just stay exactly that in that place. Yeah, there. Stop. Ow. And don't, don't, don't sit down. Can you what? do it standing up, William? Um, it's going to... Okay, I will try. M, yeah. M, yeah. M, yeah. So what? I don't know what this one. I, F, F, E. I, F. I don't get it. Why? Why not? Because it's so hot. William is very, very self motivated. He wants to learn, and you can see that in him. I think he has quite a love of reading. Reception looks hard. Wait till you see year one. That's my class. Let's go. No, no, what? No, what? What do When they arrived at the park, Sarah and Nick ran across the grass to a big wide path. They were just about to put on their rollerblades. When Dad said, look, you can't skate here. Um, my name is Tej, I am five years old. Easy. Easy. I can just spell everything. We found the perfect place to rollerblade, said Dad. Yes, grinned Nick, and there are no flowers here either. You know when they got to the park, they were disappointed. Do you know why that was? Because they couldn't roll a blade away. And why do you think? Because there were flowers. That is lovely reading. Oh, this is my friend Maria. Ah. She's in my class, year one. But she's a mummy. She lives two floors up in a flat just like mine. Ow, 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 ow. Good morning. Um. Huh? Mm. 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 Eh. Mm. Mm. Eh. Eh. Okay, okay, I can't send it out now. Right, Maria, let's look at some letters. A, B, C. Are you sure? How about this one? Uh, Have you seen that before? No. No? How about these? Do you know? Mm. Good. How about this one here? Yeah. Yep, you got that. Uh, Have you seen that? No. Don't worry. Uh, I don't know that one. Don't worry about that one. Maria doesn't always retain the shape of a letter, so she sees letters 
not in the way that we think she's seeing them. What is this one? Uh, what is this one? What is this one? If you watch her very closely, she will wait for another child's answer and answer just a microsecond after they do. My mom's and my dad's language is Portuguese and I can't um, speak um, like that. What do you speak? Um, my language, my language, like my friends. Like my friends. But you can understand Portuguese, can't you? Yes. But my mum don't know my language. Just my ear. Mm -hmm. yes. There you are. My kiss. Where's my kiss? Do you want my mother? Don't. Yeah. You speak Portuguese, too. Sim, e ela responde English. Não é, Maria? Yes. Fala português. E tu respondes English. Yes, okay. Barriga, os óculos, os dentes, a língua. Aí, tu vês? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Não, Maria, tens que ler. Vai, Maria, outra vez. Vamos. Uh -uh. Vai. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Saturday, Monday. Oh. Não é, Maria, lê. O que é? Sunday? Não é? Não é o que está aqui? É. Is. E então? Aí tu vês aqui, vá. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday. Saturday. Saturday. Tuesday. Lê o que ali. Sun. Sunday. A Maria esquece muito do domingo. Não sei porquê. É um dos melhores dias. Mas está bem. Está a fazer? Ia. Ok, should I tell you what we are doing today? Yeah! Ok, we've got a very exciting day because we are going to do all our sounds. And then we are going to, some of you are going to try some reading. <gasps> Who is excited to read to Hannah? Me! I can't wait to open this. I can't wait to open Have a look at the front. Get your finger. Fun, hat, fun. Look how Hannah is using one finger at a time. Show me that you can do it. Sun, hat, fun. Right, open it to the first page. Right, let's point together. Sienna, get your pointing finger. A. Hat. Sun. Fun. It. On. And. Run. Okay, turn the page. Okay, now this word is called a red word. What's it called? And red words are very, very tricky. Do you know why? But red words, you cannot sound out. Okay? You cannot sound them out. So listen. Put up to. Put. Put. 
That's not the right word. You cannot stand them out there trying to trick us. This word says put. What does it say? Put. I put my hat on. If you've read a red word, you'll know it's not so easy to read. It doesn't look how it sounds. Who thought the U in two should also be in through and glue? Is this the work of a loony or a spelling monster sent to confuse me? Tell me the hardest word you know how to spell. I can spell the k a w the a n a caravan. I know how to spell s a d a n i Go on then. Ah, uh, the uh uh, is it why after? I think I've forgotten. What's the hardest word that you two know to spell? Mm. Uh, no. I just need some more time on the, the table to think. Mm. Okay. Fiction and they and they they give you information and I like uh, I don't really like non-fiction books only a little bit I do I do like um, fiction books. What a lot of fiction books? Fiction books are fairy tales. They're stories of strange creatures and imaginary worlds. So the story is called. Big scary monster. On top of a mountain, not very far from here, there once lived a big scary monster. This monster was bigger and scarier than any other creature. All the other little creatures that lived. On top of the mountain, spent their days playing happily together among the small rocks and the small plants. But suddenly, when they least expected it, something disturbed the peace. Stories make you understand what it's like to be there yourself. I think we've all got monsters living inside our heads, trying to get out. My monster is a very sad monster. <laughs> My monster is a happy monster. My monster is called Garatina. This monster gets angry when she rolls. If I was in the story and the monster was sad, I would give the monster a big hug. Why would you do that? To make him feel happy. Then he'll never be horrible anymore. Willem is wonderful. One, two, three, four. Sometimes we are like uh, short of money. Says, m o m m y when I work, I will bring you that much money. So we never short. 
I said, but then need for yourself, you're gonna grow big. No, mommy, I will always be there for you. <laughs> I'm originally from Lithuania. I came when I was 25. And I stay, I start to create life. I start to learn English. I want to understand absolutely every single word. I meet my husband, Englishman. We make a lovely family. That is coming, but it's not so often. We can get on each other too good. Not that hard. Better than have bad environment indoors. Better to grow child on my own. of the year feeling. Wow. Fantastic. 2000 and... Okay, take a few steps back. Tell me what you think about reading. I think reading is boring, a bit not boring, <coughs> a bit okay, and a bit fun. Because you get to learn some new words in it. So then can you come back? Right, we're going to do a little bit of reading. This book is called On the Table. Can you have a go of reading that? Um, I really don't know how to read books. Really? What do you think is happening in the picture? Toy cars on the table. Well, that's exactly what this says. It says, look, the little car is on the table. A dolly is on the table. A ball's on the table. And a plane is on the table. A bus is on the table. Boring. This is a boring book. Once you finish, put your pencil in the pot. Some people think there are two Stephens in my class, but the other one is his twin brother, Nicholas. You go to work, you come home, the kids go to school, they come home. Nobody wants to sit and start doing work. But they do it because they know they don't have a choice. And that's only because they're young still. Yeah, they exactly, because older. that's it. When yeah. they get older, you, you, yeah, they're, like, they're yeah. like, Dad, you can't tell me what to do, man. It's my homework. Will. What? Ill. Ooh. Her. Her. Uh, her. Two. Oh. 
Look. L O O K. Now, Nicholas. This. Fine. That. Them. Fine. I don't like the T though. You could have done that a bit better. All. A O L. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Plus your two half marks. 18. 18. That's really good. Nicholas is all about solving puzzles. It's just a puzzle of sounds. So Nicholas will do it. Whereas Stefan doesn't have that ability to do the phonics and piece the word together. Spell her. Huh? Um. Her. In letters? A R. No. H E R. H E R. That. No. Them. That's wrong as well. T H E M. I'm not going to mark that correct, that one. Your N looks like a H and your H looks like an N. 12, 13, 14. That's a bit bigger than Nicholas's. I wouldn't say that. Oh. <laughs> you go here, do your homework. But the kid thinks he doesn't like reading. He thinks books doesn't teach him Many words. Oh, Stefan, he's got a good heart, doesn't he? Yeah. He's cute. Cuddly, beautiful speech. When he first started talking, oh, wow. It was surprising at how well he could pronounce the words. So, yeah. His main downfall, though, he's stubborn. Stefan doesn't understand that reading is something that you need for life. Children came to the house. Um, no, the house. house. They came to play with Chip. Stefan, your brother's trying to read. Can you be calm and quiet? Can come in then. What at? Stefan. Don't lose your tail, otherwise you won't be a cat anymore, will you? Imagine if you suddenly turned into a character from one of the stories you read. But well, that's exactly what happens on World Book Day. She's probably not going to wear this hat, but... Give it a go. <coughs> I don't really want a hat. Well, I've just made it for you. Only because otherwise you're not the real cat in the hat. <laughs> to the side. Always with style, OK? There you go. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, jeez. I can't believe I forgot your hat. I am so unhappy about that. I'm not unhappy. I'm happy. I'm happy. You're a big bouncy cat. I'm a skipping cat. OK, bye. I don't know where Purple Class have gone. I don't know who you all are. But you all look very nice. Good morning, Stefan. Good morning. Good morning, Nicholas. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. Good morning, Tasia. Good morning. I've come as a mug out of Megan Mug uh, because the children requested it. I came as Aslan with my beautiful mane. I've come as, um, well, don't you know who I am? <laughs> I've come as a character called Lucky Luke from a French comic um, that I used to love 
when I was uh, younger, that I still have quite a few of his comics. Thank you. World Book Day is one of the most exciting events of Kingsmead. It's absolutely brilliant. We've got children and staff that get really, really excited about dressing up. We talk about books, we talk about characters, talk about the importance of reading. Probably one of the best days of the year, actually. We are celebrating loving books and reading and everything to do with reading. Put your hand up if you like to read. I love reading. I love reading. OK, I'm going to show you this. Have a look. Use your looking eyes. I love Louis. Magna eyes switched on. Magna eyes switched on. No one remembered how she came to the woods, but all knew that it was right. The whole forest took her as their own. Bird taught her how to speak. Bear taught her how to eat. Fox taught her how to play. And she understood and was happy. One day she met some new animals in the forest. They found her strange. And she found them strange too. They spoke wrong. They ate wrong. And she did not understand. And she was not happy. They made her do things she didn't like. Did she want to speak like them? No. no. She wanted to speak like the birds. Did she want to eat her food with a knife and fork? No. She wanted to use her hands. Everyone remembered how she left and all knew it was right. Because you cannot tame something so happily wild. Good, good. I like this. Look, king. Where's the k sound? Look, ing. Can we put ing in now? Look, ing. Ing. Excellent. Stefan, sit up. Tell me that you're ready. Stefan, you just wasted all that writing time. You will have to miss some wait time to get it done. Come on, Stefan, let's go. Come. Sitting up. You didn't write quickly enough when we were doing the lesson. You had a long time to do that and you didn't do it. So I'm afraid you will have to miss playtime and do that. Because I asked you so many times. Didn't I? And you just didn't get it done. It's very sad. Everybody's there doing their thing and Stephanie's been the clown in the, in the back or in the corner or being loud, talking, having a laugh, having a giggle. He's already a fidgety type of person, so sitting down for five minutes, he's going to start picking at his hair, playing with his clothes, eating his sleeve before he starts moving. Once he starts moving, you're in trouble. And it, it, that gets him into these predicaments at school. I'm hoping that he takes a leaf out of his brother's book and makes those type of changes for himself rather than being forced to do it. Stefan's coming a long way. Reading though, carry on practising. Yes. Because... It takes a long time, doesn't it, Jan, for it him? It does, yeah, especially with the four-letter words. The quicker yeah. he can say them as he well, sees them. We've tried that. He, he, we want him to keep up with everyone else, mm -hmm. but the phonics don't really work for him. Mm -hmm. Whereas Nicholas, with phonics, works fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. but Stefan will get there, definitely. Mm -hmm. See you next.
Nina, did you push inside the line? Sit on the carpet, please. Yes, you need to be making sure you are, you are listening all the time, OK? I didn't mind me. Because you could have done much more than that. Were you play fighting? You are on time out, and when we do choosing later, you will miss out of the choosing. Sienna does find it a little bit tricky to cooperate with the other children sometimes and also to follow my instructions sometimes. Romy, what? Do you always listen to Hannah? You're a good girl. But sometimes I'm a bit in trouble. <laughs> she just got quite strong ideas and sometimes if she doesn't want to do something, she will do any kind of distraction. Very deep. <laughs> <laughs> and learning wise, very capable, but just sometimes again it's whether she chooses to follow what has mm. been asked of her in class. All of you may keep on me, Muggy, but Dada. I don't think I could stress enough how important motivation is for children to learn. Wings help the animals move through the air. It's half the battle because we need to get them to want to do it. We need to get their excitement there. You want the children to want to read all the time. You want them to pick up all the books. You want them to be proud and show their parents and show all the adults, look what I can do, I can read. Have you seen the Crocodile said the. What does that frog, say? Frog. Good. Mm. I've seen the crocodile snatch the crocodile. I what do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to eat all of them. Do you think? Good boy. Very proud of you. Have and you been practicing reading with your mummy? Yes. Good. But... Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you really ready? Yes. Are you really, really, really ready? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, thank you, isn't it? Oh, he's very good. We're working really hard with Maria. We're practicing the sounds with her. So, Kaz will take Maria and practice her sounds every day. There's a few sounds that she's still wobbly with. But she's improved so much compared to where she was in September. Good girl. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm getting better at this. Look. Someone, when someone likes someone and they don't know what's going on. Oh my oh. goodness, I cannot spell this. I ma. Oh, ma. <laughs> <laughs> are you both the same at reading or is one better or? Well, both of us are a little bit better, but Nicholas is a bit of a Would you like to be in love? No! Why not? Because if we do, we won't we wouldn't be a child anymore. H E R E here. B I G Big A N D and Good. Nicholas, go back and finish your work. You're not finishing the work. You're just mucking about now. Day. There's two days, but they're actually different. 
this day and this day sounds exactly the same, but in... I'm so glad you remembered that one, and I'm so glad you didn't get them confused. Daddy knows I can get them right. Yeah, I, uh, Daddy believes in me. Of course I do. Right, oh, my so. last one is complete. Stefan's reading has come on leaps and bounds. So much better now. He's using his sounds more when he's reading and he's much more confident with his reading. He's enjoying his reading. Brilliant, brilliant word. Look at this word. Look how difficult that word is, but you could read it. Are you proud of yourself? Kangaroos to the door then. Not all of the books we read are fairy tales. There are also stories that teach us about the real world. I live with my family in a city close to the sea. Every summer we spend many weekends at the beach, but we never go there anymore because last year our lives changed forever. The war began. Every day bad things started happening around us. And soon there was nothing but chaos. And one day, the war took my father. Do you know what it means? It is. Yeah, it's a Yeah, in a way. Do you understand what it means? It means that her daddy was lost. He died in the war. How? Because war is bad and bad things happen. And that's a bad thing that happened to her family. Recently, my grandmother passed away and they saw how sad I was and they couldn't understand why I was being so sad. So I had to explain it to them. And I started reading them books where there is a character that dies, and that character is not coming back like in the games. You know, it's something you have to introduce to them. We leave at night to avoid being seen. The further we go, the more we leave behind. We finally arrive at a border. Oh no, it's the guards. They are looking for us and we must hide. In the darkness, the noises of the forest scare me. But mother is with us and she's never scared. We close our eyes and we finally fall asleep. Why is she oh. crying? Because she had to leave everything behind because of the war, but she's protecting her children. Because that's why mothers do, isn't it? My dad. And then? Used to be so cool. Yes. This is my dad. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> he seems plan pretty normal, normal to me. That's it. Well done. My dad having fun. The question, my dad having fun? Is the question. I wish I could have seen it.
Anna must choose between... Um, Elsa. No. Love. No. Crystal. Mm, Stop guessing words. You, how, do you, how do you know these letters? You have to, how do you know this word? You have to look at the letters. H, uh, r. I know, I know. Go on then. Her. Her. Sister's life or... Ice cream van. Why do we have to practice our reading? Because it's not boring. Stop it. Why do we have to practice our reading? Um, because you have to get strong hands. Strong hands? You have to get ready for year one when you move to your new class. Otherwise, everyone else, you're not going to be as good as everyone else and you're not going to know what to do. You're not going to be ready, isn't it? Yeah. OK? Yeah. So have that one sticker and we're going to do some reading. Uh, she's, she, I know she can do it. She's, you know, she doesn't really have any other difficulties. She just ha you just have to practice, darling, isn't it? We both have yeah. to practice. Yeah. Because you have to be ready for your new class. Yeah. Where's the word the? Mm. On the front of the book. Well done. Where's the word up? On any of the books. Any of the books. Where's the word up? Yeah. Well done. Where's the word tiger? I don't know how to spell tiger. T i g -a r. Well done. What about kick? Good gal. Wait. Oh, why does waiting have to be so boring? Well, let's go to the kids section. Come on in, boys. The toys at the shop as well. Shall we have a look at books first? See look! Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. That's a CD, not a book. Those looking out at the window. Going okay for now. They're paying interest to the books that they're seeing, so that's a good sign. Well, this one does not feel useless. This one actually feels quite great and something. I worry in the sense of what their future will turn out like. I want this book. But as long as I know that the two of them are learning at a decent pace. I know that eventually I won't need to worry. OK, now can we just go to the toys? <laughs> At the end of the year, the teachers test us to see what we have learned. She got some fish. Father Bear got some fish too. We are good at fishing, said Father Bear. Hmm. Good fish. Nice reading, Stefan. When we started this journey, words were monsters, but now they've become our friends. And who would have thought something so hard can be so much fun. Sam looked and looked for little bear. Mum looked and looked for the bear too. She can read. <laughs> yeah, she can read. It's great. Um, she didn't make many errors. In fact, I was enjoying it so much that I didn't record all of the errors. In September, she had problems recognising the letters, even the single letters of the alphabet, and her spoken English wasn't very strong. Just the sheer volume of what she's read has helped with her English, and also her English has helped with her reading. I'm pleased for her. These are life skills that she's learning.